My topic is telemarketing in detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. Telemarketing is the direct marketing of goods or services to potential customers over the telephone, internet, or fax. Telemarketing may either be carried out by telemarketers or increasingly by automated telephone calls or robocalls. The intrusive nature of telemarketing, as well as reports of scams and fraud perpetrated over the telephone, has spurred a growing backlash against this direct marketing practice. Telemarketing may also be referred to as telesales or inside sales. Home Shopify blog What is telemarketing? Definition and Guide What is telemarketing? Definition and Guide By Shopify Staff Marketing November 11, 2022 Two Minute Read Leave a Comment Email Pinterest Facebook Twitter LinkedIn What is telemarketing? Telemarketing is the process of selling products or services over the telephone. Businesses sometimes refer to it as inside sales or tele sales. Those calls at dinner time from politicians or companies encouraging you to switch from cable TV to a dish service? That's telemarketing. So is the local office supplies dealer where you shop calling to see if you'd like to order another case of paper, or your favorite yoga studio calling to offer a discount if you sign up for a new class. Telemarketers might be calling from a call bank a business specializing in telemarketing, or from the offices of a business with fewer than 10 employees. Telemarketing usually means contacting customers and potential customers by telephone, but can also include using fax or the internet. Direct mail and face-to-face -face meetings are not part of telemarketing. The two main categories of telemarketing are business-to-consumer (B2C) and business-to-business (B2B). It is a widely used method of contacting people to promote products or services, raise money for charity, gather information, generate leads, and carry out surveys. With new technology, the term also includes video conferencing calls, which in the vast majority of cases occurs with existing customers. Telemarketing, sometimes known as inside sales or telesales in the UK and Ireland is a method of direct marketing in which a salesperson solicits prospective customers to buy products or services, either over the phone or through a subsequent face-to-face -face or a web conferencing appointment scheduled during the call. Telemarketing can also include recorded sales pitches programmed to be played over the phone via automatic dialing. Telemarketing is defined as contacting, qualifying and canvassing prospective customers using telecommunications devices such as telephone, fax, and internet. It does not include direct mail marketing. Telemarketing is an advertising technique used by companies to contact potential customers and talk to them about their products and services. Traditionally, it is done by phone but nowadays companies also use video conferencing, especially in more advanced stages of the purchasing process. The best known example of telemarketing is cold calling where a company contacts a person for the first time with the intention of selling its products or services. However, this technique has many other applications, including generating leads, confirming attendance at events, post-sales follow-up, or evaluating customer satisfaction. Telemarketing is the act of selling, soliciting, or promoting a product or service over the telephone. The telephone is the most cost-efficient, flexible and statistically accountable medium available. At the same time, the telephone is still very intimate and personal. It is individual to individual. Telemarketing is the process of using the telephone to generate leads, make sales, or gather marketing information. Telemarketing can be a particularly valuable tool for small businesses, in that it saves time and money as compared with personal selling but offers many of the same benefits in terms of direct contact with the customers. Telemarketing is especially useful when the customers for a small business products or services are located in hard-to-reach places, or when many prospects must be contacted in order to find one interested in making a purchase. Although some small businesses operate exclusively by telephone, Telemarketing is most often used as part of an overall marketing program to tie together advertising and personal selling efforts. For example, a company might send introductory information through the mail, then follow up with a telemarketing call to assess the prospect's interest, 
and finally send a salesperson to visit. While businesses use various advertising strategies and mediums, they might consider implementing a telemarketing approach. This method involves contacting potential customers via phone calls, emails or other online communication. Learning about telemarketing can help you improve your persuasion skills and determine if this field is right for you. In this article, we explain telemarketing and how it works, discuss the different strategies you can use and list relevant skills and roles to consider pursuing. Telemarketing is a direct advertising method that involves contacting customers over the phone or via email. Types of telemarketing include lead generation, sales and inbound and outbound strategies. You can use product knowledge, empathy and persuasion skills to succeed in roles such as a call center representative. Telemarketing is a direct method of advertising where a sales representative contacts potential customers using technology to market a good or service. Salespeople might reach out to consumers over the phone, through email or via other methods over the internet. Telemarketing is similar to door-to-door -door advertising strategies but leverages modern advancements to reach consumers more cost-effectively. Many companies rely on telemarketing techniques to increase sales, such as those in the nonprofit, political, cable and internet, surveying, financial and home security industries. Telemarketing is often an extensive process that involves many steps. A salesperson may begin the telemarketing process by identifying their target audience. They often use data to identify customer segments with high probabilities of purchasing a good or service. Some businesses may give their sales team specific customers to contact. The company might determine its ideal target audience using survey responses, information purchased from another organization or customer information found in a phone book. Salespeople might send one email or make a single call to identify the potential customer's level of interest in the product. They often follow a script that helps them persuade the prospect to make a purchase. After the initial conversation, the sales representative may send the consumer follow-up messages to pursue the sales. Telemarketing may occur in an office, a call center or from a salesperson's own home. Telemarketing refers to a technique of two-way direct marketing wherein the telemarketers promote, solicit and sell the company's products and services to potential customers over the telephone. Telemarketing Definition Telemarketing refers to a technique of two-way direct marketing wherein the telemarketers promote, solicit and sell the company's products and services to potential customers over the telephone. In simple words, Telemarketing is the marketing by telephone, wherein telephone acts as the main channel to connect with prospective buyers. It does not involve a direct face-to-face -face contact example. Think of the calls from retail enterprises encouraging you to come over and get the latest collection at a discount, it is nothing but telemarketing. Telemarketer is a sales representative, who makes a call to the potential customers, with the name of making sales. They are either employed by the company whose product they solicit over the telephone, or by the third-party call center firms, which specialize in telemarketing services. Telemarketing is the direct marketing of goods or services to potential customers over the telephone or the Internet. Four common kinds of telemarketing include outbound calls, inbound calls, lead generation, and sales calls. Due to the intrusive nature of telemarketing, including spam calls, many customers are against it. Countries such as the U.S. and Canada have federal do-not-call lists where individuals can register their phone numbers to avoid telemarketing calls. Telemarketing is the practice of contacting, vetting, and approaching potential customers. It does not include the use of direct mail marketing methods. Telemarketing may take place from a call center, an office, or, increasingly, a home. Many times, Telemarketing can involve a single call to assess interest or suitability, and then follow-up calls to pursue a sale. Various data may be used to narrow down large databases of names to a small number of higher probability customer prospects. Telemarketing is used by for-profit businesses, non-profit charities, political groups and candidates, surveying, donation solicitation, marketing research, and other kinds of organizations. Outbound 
Companies actively reach out to customer prospects and existing customers via outbound telemarketing calls, also known as cold calls. Inbound, these telemarketing calls are based on inbound inquiries about products or services as prompted by advertising or sales efforts. These are considered warm calls as customers will typically have submitted an interest form online or already be familiar with the company. Lead generation, this is the collection of intelligence about the profiles interests, and demographic data of potential customers. Sales, telemarketers who are trained salespeople engage in this persuasive activity. They aim to close a deal on the phone. Telemarketing may entail a variety of activities, such as surveying, appointment setting, telesales, database maintenance and cleaning, and providing a call to action. The intrusive nature of telemarketing, together with its association with scams and fraud, has turned a vast number of people against this direct marketing method. Often, telemarketing phone calls are unwelcome, and the companies that operate in this space are persistent. Suspicious activity together with a backlash from the public has led many countries to lay down laws and police how telemarketers can operate. The United States and Canada have national Do Not Call DNC, registries that give their residents a choice about whether to receive telemarketing calls at home. In the U.S., the registry is managed by the Federal Trade Commission FTC, and enforced by the FTC, Federal Communications Commission, and state law enforcement official. Consumers who are registered in the DNC database can file a complaint if they receive a call from a telemarketer, which could lead to a stiff fine and sanctions for the telemarketing firm. However, calls from charities, political organizations, and telephone surveyors are permitted and therefore may be received by a consumer despite having their number listed on the DNC registry. Also permitted are calls from businesses with whom the consumer has an existing relationship, as well as those businesses where consent to call has been provided in writing. Has banned most forms of robo-calling. Requires telemarketers to make specific disclosures of material information. Prohibits misrepresentations. Sets limits on the times telemarketers can call consumers. Prohibits calls to a consumer who has asked not to be called again. Sets payment restrictions for the sale of certain goods and services. If you receive a call from somebody you don't know who seeks to sell you products or services, you're talking to a telemarketer. These individuals contact people usually with the intention of selling something and can be very persuasive. Telemarketing isn't for everyone. People working in this profession are generally hung up on continuously throughout the day. After being told where to shove it, you'll be expected to quickly make another call without losing any enthusiasm. Not everyone is capable of dealing with such rejection or able to bounce back immediately. It takes a special kind of person to be able to deal with that and stay upbeat for 8 odd hours a day. You'll also need to be really good at selling things. Yes, though how much varies by company. Telemarketers are paid by the hour, by sale, or a combination of both. Commission is often a key component of salaries as it incentivizes staff to make sales. Usually, to earn a decent wage and avoid getting fired you'll need to make your employer money. It's always wise to be extra diligent when you get a cold call about purchasing a good or service. Don't be pushed in to doing anything you don't feel comfortable with. Telemarketers can be very persuasive and talk us into doing something that maybe isn't in our best interests. Know your rights, don't be afraid to ask questions, and take some time to make a decision if you need to. Most telemarketers are honest people but there are a few scammers out there, which is why we sadly always need to treat unknown callers with an element of suspicion. Telemarketers must abide by any local, regional, or national regulations. In the U.S., the Federal Trade Commission's telemarketing sales rule requires that telemarketers make specific disclosures of material information, prohibits misrepresentations, sets limits on the times telemarketers may call. Consumers, prohibits calls to a consumer who is asked not to be called again, and sets payment restrictions for the sale of certain goods and services. While telemarketing has acquired a bad reputation because it's used by unscrupulous people trying to steal from the vulnerable and by annoying robo-callers who play a recorded outgoing message in a continuous loop, it can be an effective small business marketing tool when used properly. 
whether selling to businesses or to consumers. Telemarketing is most effective when the business making the call has an established connection, even a slight one, to the person being called. For example, the call recipient might already be a customer of the business or is a prospect who has requested more information. Customer information. The caller should know why the people being called are good prospects. Did they open an email message about the product or enter a prize drawing at a trade show? Knowledge. Individuals placing the sales calls should know the products they're selling and the companies they represent, and should also be able to answer questions about both. They should also be trained in typical purchase objections and how to overcome them in a conversation. Empathy. An empathetic telemarketer who demonstrates listening skills is better able to develop a customer relationship than a caller who is focused on nothing more than a sale. A campaign. Because customers need several contacts in different forms, advertising, direct mail, and so on, the telemarketing call needs to be part of a larger marketing effort. Telemarketing is most successful when used to nurture leads rather than to generate them. Telemarketing is the practice of marketing products, services over the phone. An example of telemarketing is a company calling potential customers to offer them a discount if they sign up for their services. In some countries, telemarketing is illegal or requires permission from the government. It is important to research the laws in your country or region before engaging in telemarketing. Yes, telemarketing can be a difficult job. It requires you to be persistent and persistent in trying to make sales. You must have excellent communication skills, be able to think on your feet, and handle rejection well. It also requires a lot of patience, as it can be a long and tedious process. Telemarketing cold calling or canvassing means contacting new customers. The consumer has probably never bought anything from the company and has no idea that he or she will be approached. Telemarketers purchase lists of names to call from list service agencies, which have information on people according to age, ethnic group, interests, profession, socioeconomic level, academic level, etc. If a telemarketing team is tasked with promoting a lawnmower, it does not want to telephone people who live in apartments. It will purchase lists of people who have a garden, and if terms are offered, people with good credit ratings. If you are trying to sell rock concert tickets that cost $250 each, you will want to call people of a certain age group who are middle class or wealthier. Agencies can sell you lists of the type of people you want to call. Deli sales means selling a service or product directly to potential customers by telephone, trying to get people to buy. Telemarketing means using the telephone to generate interest, provide information, create opportunities, get customer feedback generate leads, and make appointments. Telemarketing creates prospects and lets consumers know about what a company has to offer them. It provides the opportunity for both the company and customer to get to know each other better. Telesales turns those opportunities into sales however, as the term telemarketing is used often these days with the same meaning as telesales, it is best to explain exactly what you mean in more detail when using one of them. Telemarketing is not for everybody. Like any marketing strategy, it has some disadvantages. However, for many businesses the method clearly works, otherwise it would not be so popular. While telemarketing has become an extremely popular tool to promote products, it is also a divisive strategy in modern marketing, because consumers find it annoying and risky. Most people do not like being called by strangers unexpectedly. A large number of organizations use unethical or at least extremely irritating, or at least extremely irritating, practices in telemarketing. For example robocalling, a technique that uses a pre-recorded message delivered to thousands of telephone subscribers in one broadcast, the telephone rings, you answer, and hear a promotional recording. Ever since we first started using the telephone, it has been an important marketing and sales tool. Scammers use the telephone to swindle people, especially elderly individuals who live on their own and have symptoms of dementia or some kind of cognitive impairment. Fear of being conned or having a family member swindled has made many people anti-telemarketing. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.